he chose to rest uh, some pretty big names. Um, was it a gamble? Your thoughts about the starting eleven? Why you assume that I rest play people? What makes you that saying? Well, a lot of us would have expected that. Who is a lot of us? Who is that? Yeah, okay. I would have expected that Marcus Rosenberg would start today, for example. Okay. So I think it's very important that people in that room. Um, it's very easy to have opinion when you don't know the facts. Yeah? So you don't know anything about how Lugano played, which physical and mentally status the players are in. Yeah? You don't know what the club has told me regarding the last part of the season. You don't know all those facts and then you make assumptions. And I think the players has been fantastic, especially the way we started the game off in the first half. The players made it absolutely clear that we picked the right team to win the game because that's what we did. Uh, two pretty different uh, halves. Um, why, why the two-faced game, so to speak? Uh, I don't think it was two different halves. I think um, first half uh, we won the ball 16 times, uh, sorry, 11 times in their in their half. What is internationally with the pressing is pre pretty impressive, especially against a, such a good technical side like they have with technical players. Uh, our pressing was really front foot in the beginning. Um, we had a high line in the back. Uh, we had uh, the front two did extremely well, in my opinion. Um, we won a lot of balls in the half. We put them under pressure. We never give them air to breathe. Uh, then we also used the ball well. We didn't need it to do many. Uh, didn't need it many chances today to score. We were clinical, very effective. Um, in the second half, like it always is, you need to overcome the first first 15 minutes without conceding. We didn't achieve that. And then we headed something to hold on and we got a little bit passive. Uh, we won the second half only five times the, the ball in the opposition half. So it is a clear indication that our pressing wasn't as front foot, as aggressive as we were in the, in the first half. I can understand that. Um, they had more the ball without creating so many chances. Uh, when Johan was asked to be there, he made a, a world-class save, fantastic save. Um, and um, learning from Hammerby, where we were very good between the two boxes, especially in the second half, uh, but we lacked a little bit the punch in both boxes. That was a massive improvement today. When we scored two goals and we defended the box when we had to, especially in the second half. So I'm delighted that the players have shown that we have a, a very strong squad and we picked the team to win. And uh, the players achieved that. And uh, I'm very happy with that. Obviously, an uh, uh, um, important win. Uh, how do you feel of the connotation of the group now? Uh, FCK played 1-1 against the number 5 5 five, four, one. Um, Nothing really changed for me. Uh, because I said from day one, this group gives you opportunities. A, the group is wide open. Three games more to go. Um, ideally, it would be. I would be very happy when we would uh, can achieve six more points. Um, I think we need at least five. Um, but I think the group gives us options, and um, it's always important. Also, when you made those changes, I think it's very important that also you guys giving the players we have selected the respect. When I'm talking about respect, is you talk about the Lasse Nielsen comes in, he was just picked for the Danish national team. Jonas Knudsen just played for the Danish national team. Gisha Molins is a very, very experienced player with a very, uh, very successful career. So uh, we picked today a very strong team. And, uh, and uh, also in mind what happened on Monday, uh, I really look forward for the, for the last part of the season. Hi. Hi. You said uh, we don't know what the, uh, I, don't, I don't remember the words, Exactly, but you just said we don't know what uh, directions the club has given you for the end of the season. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that? No. <laughs> that is a conversation between me and the chairman, who I had in Tel Aviv. And uh, so 
and uh, that is what I have to base my decisions on. Regarding that, uh, you got an extra day uh, to the, the, the yeah. game against Aorca. Uh, what does that mean for the team? Do you think? Um, I think, like I said to you, we uh, we, I think uh, Max, maybe sometimes I have to learn. I'm sorry, I apologize for still not speaking uh, Swedish, but when I used the impression to burn the kettle from the candle from both sides, so. Max didn't really understood that because he thought he was I was diffused or something. So, when I, what I mean with that is that before the game is, we try to be successful on all fronts. So we always try to win every game, and this is when you burn the kettle only on one side, you last longer. When you burn the uh, the candle on both sides, so it can <laughs> get shorter. So. Uh, for us, is, I'm so happy that the players we used that opportunity today to show themselves and win the game. And also for Monday, we had three top games. So we played Hammerby, the team in form with the best home record. We played a European tie today, and we play Oikor on Monday. Of course, I need to, I need to uh, uh, use our resources, and that I mean the squad, in the best possible way. And that may be not you may be not agreeing with that, and I have completely understanding with that. But I know more facts than you all know, and this is why, believe me, this is why we picked the right team today. Uh, from one to seven, one out of seven to three out of three, what happened? Penalties. Sorry, say again. From one out of seven oh, yeah, to yeah. three out to three out of three, what happened? Uh, yeah, I think we we couldn't go on like that with with uh, missing six in a row. Um, like I said, um, Yip and Yip converted that penalty. I think I think it was very smart from Gisha. We needed today smartness in around the box in the final third. I think to get that penalty in the first place was very smart. It was not trained. It was just fantasy in the final third. Very good, and we want that from our players. Then the. How Yip converted the penalty uh, is the way he's playing now, because he's playing now the striker uh, like I always think he could play. You know, when he played the striker position in the beginning of the season, he wasn't physically on his best level. Today, he was absolutely handful for them. You know, and I think he's full of confidence, and that also reflects how he convert convert this penalty. Um, so there was many good performances. Out there today, and uh, and one of definitely was Yip, the way he played, and also the way he converted and set us on the road to victory. I don't need an exact number, but how many times have you uh, trained penalties? Um, obviously, when we missed a, a few, we had when we had these trainings weeks now, where we had uh, uh, played a lot of five v five, six v six tournament stuff, seven v seven. We had a lot of uh, every game started with a penalty. Uh, Games ended a draw with penalties, so we we started to play more emphasis on practicing actually penalty under pressure. So pressure means in training is always we always want to win. Every team wants to win. So um, I don't know, but I think it is very much is the physical state the players in and um, and um, Yip. He looked very confident in the way he played, and I think that he reflected the way he converted. It. If Jib and Rosenbay is on the pitch next time he gets a penalty, who gets to take it? Oh, you ask me always those difficult questions. <laughs> <laughs> These good questions. So, uh, we see. I think they are good friends. I think they will, they will come to a solution, both of them. I'm 100% sure. <laughs>